Hello everyone. Oh, I've just been running around lately, um, making dinner. I was hopping in the shower. Um, but we're here. I'm a few minutes late, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're all just having a have a having a great time in this little journey we call life. How are we doing? Happy Monday. Uh, hopefully, it's been a good start to your week. Today we are gonna get in this because this is um, episode three of us <laughs> seeing if we can get to the end of this game, essentially. And last time we did a couple things. Um, we did the Kaiba Corporation Cup, um, which was super cool. And this is something that we wanna see. Happy Monday, Lock Test. Thank you for joining us. Um, we wanted to see the ghoul announcement here. That is really great. Um, we were actually able to get a sneak peek of the final boss of this game, which is super cool. Um, and we'll see if we can actually get to him now. Hopefully this is the last one. Guys, we just keep having to face Odeon, man. Because we have only one more rare hunter to find. And we just have not been able to find them. It's crazy. Um, but luckily we are in a much better spot. I'm gonna do that for now. Um, no, that's okay. Um, Harpy's Feather Duster, which we got first draw here, is obviously really good to begin with. I'm kind of afraid he has a Magic Jammer, but we're gonna try it. And there's the Magic Jammer. Oh, my fear was founded! That's very sad. But that's okay. We're gonna make it. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I don't know how to say your name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you uh, Kuma. <laughs> Um, how's it going? Thanks for joining us tonight. All right, Vorse Raider, we hate to see it, but, um, it will actually wall his Vorse Raider with my, uh, that's the way? Great. Um, all right, so we're going to return both of these. You know what's interesting about this game? Thanks for joining us once again, Kuma. Um, all right, that is fine with Penguin Soldier, because really the only thing it can do, um, is flip. Um, oh, you came across? Oh, very, very cool. Um, I'm glad you can join us today. It's actually really interesting. I was just going to say, um, this time I tried changing my, like, stream category. Okay, I'm going to wait on that. Um, I tried changing my stream category to, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition. Oh, you're playing this right now? That's so sick! Um, I, I tried changing my stream category to Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, and it literally wouldn't let me anymore. Like, I'm no longer able to do it, somehow. Um, here we go. This is where I can get this Torrential Tribute going on and get rid of all four of his monsters. Which we love to see. What's up, Brody? Thanks for joining us. Um, unfortunately for us, I have nothing to play against his open... I know, that's what I'm saying. Um, so for my category today, I literally just put it as Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. <laughs> uh, really, really would have loved to have Dunamis Dark Witch a turn ago. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah, you know, I also wouldn't have thought that Twitch would do that. Um, kind of my thought is that maybe it was just a mistake, or maybe I just needed to refresh something, or... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's get Dark Witch in here. Probably have a trap hole or something. Yeah. <laughs> really, at this point, when it comes to Odeon, you just kind of have to... Keep going through your deck until you can draw a Jinzo or something. Um, we'll try this this time. 
And I don't really remember what he has much on in defense, in defense mode. Okay, that's fine. And another good thing for us here... Oh, Cyberjar. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So he's going to keep drawing, drawing trap cards. I at least have kind of an idea. Um, to mention that I don't think... Oh, really? What? I don't need to face all the ghouls? That's interesting. You did it a few days ago and you never faced Odeon. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, I... Oh, he can do this every time I attack. Um, that's so interesting because, yeah, I still haven't been able to trigger the end. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Brody. I'll get it at some point. <laughs> um, so how did you get to the... Oh, I have to discard stuff now. I forgot to do that. Um, I'll get rid of Beast of the Gopher. I'll get rid of Freebo. That's fine. Uh, no. Hmm. The end triggered when you attempted to duel someone normal. Very interesting. Um, ooh, we have Heavy Storm. That'll be a good kind of last resort. Um, I know he has something here that can destroy a card, but again, I am just going till I get, till I get Jinzo. Uh, let's see. Alright, so his fairy box worked this time. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna leave that card on the field forever if I can, because that might be how I get rid of him, is I just keep making him pay 500 life points to keep this on the field. Um, excuse me. Um, let's see. And I'll just I'll drop, drop this there. All right, great. Yeah, so we're sitting pretty. Um, Odeon has a way of just boxing himself in a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get those. Destroy something. Great. And we'll just get Giant Rat. Yeah, I was I was trying to look up to see if there was a point threshold. Oh no, what does Morphing Jar do? I have to discard my hand. Ooh, I had a lot of really good cards in my hand. But I did draw Jinzo, so that's good. Um, yeah, I tried looking it up, and I... Because last time I was really trying to figure it out. Mm. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. So now that we have our good friend Jinzo, we can just play him, and now none of his cards can do anything. And here we go. Uh, maybe I need to beat any any ghouls a certain number of times. Okay, that's interesting. So there is like... Like maybe after this battle I will get a chance to trigger the end. Um, how about a Dark Magician? Oh, okay. I like the Yugi starter deck Dark Magician art the best. Um, okay. No, still nothing. Oh, I earned my bonus points for target week. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trigger, like, the ghoul text. There's another dark witch. Um, like we've been doing. And then I'm going to try to duel someone normal. D Kuma, I'm so glad that you stopped in today. Thank you. This is so much fun. I, like, you don't know how many people have 
see I have seen in like the YouTube comments that are just like, hi, what is this game? <laughs> I have never even heard of this. Um, but just the fact that you are also playing it is so is so fun. Um, okay, the event was an interrupt. I see. Hold on, let me let me see if I can. I'm gonna try my strat, and then if not, I'll just try to do it as normal. Um, let's see. Oh, shadow spell. Wow, I did not know that you could get Shadow Spell in the Duelist Weekly. That's actually really good. It uh, functions a lot like Spellbinding Circle. It other, it fun Shadow Spell. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow Spell functions a lot like Spellbinding Circle in that it like stops your opponent from attacking or changing position, but it also decreases their attack by 700 points. That is sick. Um. Um, so I might throw that in there while we're at it. Um, oh yeah, sometimes I just really get on a, a Yu-Gi-Oh kick, and I really want to play this game specifically, um, just because I love, um, whatchamacallit, I just love classic Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. So here, I'm gonna box Spellbinding Circle. Uh, you got a better video. Perfect. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to do some normal duels here. I just want to trigger the text first and then see if, like, the ghoul interrupting me, interrupting a regular duel is going to be the thing. Um, and then if not, I can just play the game like a normal human being and then just not try to trigger the end. Um, because it's so funny, uh, Kuma, that you're here for this game. Because this is easily way less popular than my Pokemon stuff. I mean, that's like probably not difficult to imagine. Um, ooh, another Dark Magician? That's cool. Um... Whoa! Crush card works in your game? That's incredible. Because I feel like I have tried to use it before and it doesn't work. Um, maybe I'll have to try it again. Uh, hold on, let me, let me throw it, let me throw it in. Um, uh, list filter. I'll throw a crush card in my deck and see if it works for me. Um... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, you're not a Pokemon guy. Well, how about that? How about that? Um, yeah, there are definitely some that I like more than others as far as the Pokemon games go. Um, but I always stuck with it. Do you play modern Yu-Gi-Oh as well? Okay, here is our text. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so we have now gotten the text. So I am just gonna fight Seto. Okay. Okay, so we have the Mokuba interrupt. Okay, maybe that was a tough one. Maybe just because yeah, you were talking about needing... Okay, what does it say? Oh, okay, so I need a dark monster with 1,500 or less. But this only says you need one dark monster as a tribute. Um, interesting. Um, oh, cool! So you're a, you're a classic Yu-Gi-Oh guy like me. Um, let's see... Yeah, I need to see how many dark monsters I have in my deck to see if I can even use this card. Oh, you had a meager real-life collection? I understand. 
Um, I kind of started collecting stuff in, you know, my later years. Uh, we'll just end there. Because, like, I kind of had a real desire to own a lot of the classic cards, um, or cards, like, from this game that I thought were really cool. Um, uh, I see. So, I guess... I always thought the card was bugged, but basically the text was just wrong, so I never knew to use it correctly. Very interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to take on Mokuba. I can actually get rid of that trap hole. Boom. Okay. Sure. Use my shadow spell. I'll put Penguin Soldier in attack mode. I don't even care anymore, man. I'm trying to win this duel as quick as possible. Aw. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Did you ever have any of the uh, starter decks? All right. I think I think I have enough. If my math is correct, I absolutely do. Because I loved playing with those starter decks as a kid. Now let's do that Millennium Puzzle. The Eye of Truth. Interesting. Oh, Skull Dice. That's a cool one. And Graceful Dice. We haven't seen these yet. Um, you can roll a die, and the result is multiplied by 100 points, and that's added to the attack and defense of all monsters you control. It only works for a turn, but it can be very useful. Skull Dice is essentially the same thing. It just deducts points from your opponent's monsters. Um, so yeah, Skull Dice and Graceful Dice were a classic Joey Wheeler combo, of course. Um, and I always just liked Zoa. I thought that was a cool card. Um, so, I actually have no idea if I have... Okay, that's... Okay, so Karibo would be the only thing I can use Crush Guard with. I'll keep it in my deck, screw it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the Yugi and Kaiba decks, awesome. Um, oh yeah, they were like super rare in regular printings. Oh, I just boofed this. Please be the guy. Nope, just strings. Um, all right, fellas, ladies and gents, I don't know if I can just, uh, you know, make the end of this game happen. Um, so I might just have to play it like a normal human being. What do you know about that? Oh yeah, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes were super hard to get. And I loved, loved, uh, those two cards in the starter decks, the artworks specifically. There we go. I'll take that start. Um, do I have... I'll just kind of stay there for now. I can trigger this as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, I changed my OBS capture size? Hmm. If I did, I did not mean to. <laughs> um, there was one moment where, like, I accidentally, like, shrank, shrunk? Um, my window, so maybe I made it slightly bigger or smaller. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that mechanical chaser in case he's got a terrible trap sitting there. And I was right. Um, so I'll just chill for now. Um, I also love it because 
I have two cards, Multiply and um, Crush card, that are completely reliant on Karibo to use. <laughs> Come on, man! Use my Magic Cylinder against me. That's all right. He only has so many really good magic and trap cards. And oftentimes when you fight strings, the old uh, jam breeding machine is the way to win. It's shrunk a little, I see. Um, there we go. Hopefully this still works. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I comment it. I comment on it every time I fight strings. Um, but uh, ooh, I'm just gonna do this actually. There we go. Every time he plays one of those slime tokens, yeah, baby. All right, so then I can just destroy you, which is great. Um, and I forgot to do Barrel Dragon's ability that time. Um, so Barrel Dragon has this great ability where you can flip two coins, and if you get, you can flip three coins, sorry. Barrel Dragon has an ability where you flip three coins, and if you get two of them correct, you'll destroy a monster. And as you can see from the little shine there in the eye, I only got one correct, so I was not able to destroy the monster. But... Barrel Dragon is still a really strong monster that can just attack as normal. So there you have it. And yeah, those slime tokens, they always hurt him way more than they help him. Um, yeah. And if my math is correct, I don't even need to do anything. Um, no, I didn't really do anything. Um, oh, I'm glad it's better now. That's great. All right, so again, we got some great cards. Shout out to my boy, Black Luster Soldier. Love you. So I guess we're just going to play the game. And we're just going to see what happens, gang. It's going to be a great time. Um, all right. Come on, do I have a winning record? Okay, I have an even record against Joey. I have an even record against Kaiba. I want to get a winning record against everybody. So let's try to, let's try to duel Joey. Excuse me. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Giant soldier. I'll take that. Putting a giant soldier down first turn, I don't hate. Unless he uses a dark hole. It's very bad. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Ay, ay, ay. Um, we'll just set back the soldier for now. I really want to have a better draw against Joey when he plays Baby Dragon and Axe Raider. Because I feel like there are times where you duel him and he has, like, the good cards out. And then there are other times where you duel him and it's just like, he's got fine cards, you know. Um, alright. Let's try to find Karibo then. Mirror Force. Alright. I guess I'm going to take another hit here. So can you um, get rid of Karibo from your hand, or does it have to be from the field? Oh, I do love that extra 50 attack power. We can get over that. All right, let's see what you got this time, Brody. 
<laughs> Thank you for the mod interview. That's funny. I love that, actually. Um, let's see. I play Karibo, then activate Crush Guard. Sick. All right, let's find Karibo, then. I'm excited for this. And I might have to put another... Gosh, freaking dang it, man. I'm getting pretty unlucky here. Um, oh, boy. What are you? You dark? No, you're light. You're literally the opposite. Um, I am not getting the draw I need. All right. Well, gang? Okay, good. I'm like, this is our last stand. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I think I just lost. Yep, baby dragon, bye. Gosh, dang it, that was horrible. That was a horrible duel. My draws are never that bad. Yeah, go ahead and put it in the Discord, Brody. Um, that disappointed me greatly. All right. We're going to beat Kaiba, though. And again, you have to go through this whole thing where Kaiba actually challenge you, challenges you instead. Lovely. Okay. Um, yeah, it's... it's Joey can be really feast or famine when it comes to that. I'm um, going to put Giant Rat down. Ah. Uh, I'm fine with it for now, because I can summon my dark, dark, uh, my giant soldier stone with giant rat. There we go. Um, let's do this. Crawling dragon, and I'll get rid of Rocket Warrior. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put you in defense mode. This is my favorite play in the entire game: is just to take one of their monsters with Change of Heart and then tribute it. Um. Oh, call the haunted. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of running it for fun and then just seeing if I can make it work. That is so funny. I never knew that about Crush Card. I always thought it was... I mean, it was... In my defense, it was wrong. Just not wrong in the way that I thought. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. He can destroy my giant soldier. I am fine with that. Perfect. Um, uh, Kuma, I made uh, myself a, a deal. We made a deal in one of these Yu-Gi-Oh streams that if I had the card in real life, I was allowed to do the code thing um, to put the card in my game. Gosh. God bless America. Um, wow, you have you have the deets on this bad boy. I love it. Um, well, there's nothing on the field, so I'm just gonna play you. Perfect. I'm liking it so far. We'll see if it continues. Also, thank you for checking out the old streams. That's amazing. Alright, so we have... We have Kaiba right where we want him. 
other than right now. Um, yes. Yeah, fine. We'll just do it. All right, just give me an attack monster or a monster reborn. Great, that was the perfect draw, heart of the cards. Perfection. There we go. Kaiba is thwarted. All right, humph, must be my deck. Kaiba's a mean fella. Ooh, I want the pink one. This is where you get... This uh, pink pack has all these really good trap cards, like Tornado Wall. We've seen Mako combo this with Umi, so we can't attack. Dragon Capture Jar. That was a classic Kaiba card. Uh, Yugi and Kaiba card. Ooh, Destiny Board. This is a Bakura strategy. Love that. Um, oh, that pack has every trap in the game, I'm told. Okay, so now we have a winning record against Kai, but now we have to do that against Joey. Oh, and where are my notes? Um, I've been keeping track of... There we go. Uh, I've been keeping track of our record. So we lost to Joey once. So that's 11. But we have beaten... Strings, Odeon, Kaiba, Mokuba. I'm pretty sure we've only had those four. So that puts us at 66 and 11. Um, so far for our record. Ooh! Okay! Come on! Make this our man! Still no. Still no. Well, we'll see. This is great. We'll see if your uh, theory checks out here, Kuma. Because the one I can't find is the rare hunter that uses Exodia. That's the one I have not been able to freaking find, and it's really annoying. Um, and I've dueled a lot of these other people so many times. I got one of my own, you meanie. All right. That probably wasn't the most judicious use of my, uh, whatchamacallit, my torrential tribute, but I just went for it. I'm pretty sure he has magic cylinder. We'll see. Just negate attack. I will take that. Um, okay. We shall see. Dude. I am getting smoked with these magic and trap cards. I'm gonna see you. put you there. Oh. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, beating them ten beating them ten times. See, I mean like, that would be pretty consistent with how the game works, just kind of in general, I would say. Um Let's do that. Oh wow, so his Call of the Haunted is just kind of stuck on the field now. That's fascinating. Uh, you know what? Hold on, this is just an activate effect, yes. Um, I am playing Time Wizard <laughs> with Axe of Despair, baby! Because <laughs> we are gonna attack this fool. Let's go! Oh, okay. I see, I see. I mean, I'm probably coming up on it if I haven't already. See, I knew I had my old trap hole waiting on me, so I, I got a, I got a, I certainly got very audacious um, playing Time Wizard with Axe of Despair. Um, let's see. Mm. 
My boy can't be saved this time. I can't. That's okay, I'll just negate attack this turn and then use Raigeki with whatever he builds up on the field. Yes. Perfect. Um, yeah, you had beaten everyone 10 to 20 times. That's interesting. Yeah, so maybe... Yeah, everything I've looked up has just been like, beat all the ghouls and then it'll get to the end. Um, but there might be something to that, too. Maybe I just haven't fought everybody enough. Um. Lucky for me, Arcana's not that good. Um, I'm just gonna go- I'm just- I'm going for it, man. I am just getting crazy over here. Me and my giant rat against the world. Fine. That is the perfect draw, thank you. Ah, your goal has been unlocking all the packs. Yeah, I don't know how many more packs I have to unlock at this point. I know the magic uh, card pack I have not unlocked. Oh, I think there's the Relinquished pack. Um, stuff like that, like, related to Kaiba. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm just gonna use Heavy Storm, because I don't want to deal with swords. But yeah, that's actually a really fun goal to unlock all the packs. I feel like I, like, completed all the icons on the top of the thing at one point in my life. Um, which is like, you gotta play a lot for that to happen. Uh, that is our first time using Magician of Faith, which lets us get our all-powerful Raigeki back, which is excellent. And we can just use it to win the duel now. There we go. And that puts us at 67 and 11. Ah, uh, the once monthly tournament. Yeah, is that the KC Cup? We did that last episode. Um, all right, so we got a bunch of good cards, most of which we already have. Yeah, we started with Dark Condition Girl. All right. All right, so it didn't pop up. So I think we just gotta, we just gotta keep rolling. Yeah. Um, let's see here. All right, we're going to try to get a winning record against Joey then. Um, Yugi, yes, two wins, one loss. Joey is really, uh, sticking in my craw here. Oh, I forgot about him and my, they have this little interaction. Yeah. They're kind of like a little pair. They're kind of like a like a fun little ship. Joey and Mai. That's cute. Um, oh, yes. All right. So Mai is not a pushover either. Uh, yes, the weekly tournament, indeed. This is just a classic. Perfection. I would love... There we go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and play Gemini up while I'm at it. Ah, uh, indeed. Honestly, for how long I have played this game, I genuinely don't remember where all of the areas are. I probably should, but I don't. All right, Brody, what you got? Oh, excuse me. Oh, who is the best SCG Pokemon? That's a good one. 
Um, oh, wow, you don't even have Ziggy on the list. That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, the the recency bias and do Piggy the Grum Pig. Um, all right. Let's see what we can do here. She's got one face down. Do, 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 do. I'll just do two dollars. Oh, Ziggy is on there? Did I not see Ziggy? No, you got Piggy, but I don't see Ziggy. Oh, you drew a map. That is perfect. I love that. <laughs> I should do that. Okay, okay. So she just gonna chill. Alright, this is nice. I can take... I'm gonna go ahead and just take your face down, because I don't know what it is. Let's get good old blue eyes out there. Oh, that artwork is so iconic. Um, maybe it is a glitch. All right. Only 100 points of damage, but we do an eye. Um, all right. We'll just go for it here. Gemini L should be able to take whatever it is out. Okay, great. Just don't be a cyber jar. Basically, I'm always so afraid that whatever I attack is going to be a cyber jar. Ugh, I hate cyber jar. There we go. Google Forms, I get you, I get you. Ooh, that'll come in handy. And we'll just go for it. Because hopefully I can just negate this trap. If it is a bad trap. Which it is. And it didn't let me do it! I feel like that has happened to me before. That is dumb. That is really dumb. That is true. It made him hate jars. He got the jar of greed. The cyber jar. All right, that makes me really mad because that should have been able to negate the mirror force, right? Unless I am just completely misremembering things. Wow. Kuma, you are just, you are just laying down the law tonight. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Because I have always wondered about that. Because I have played this game, and uh, sometimes it just doesn't work. I see. I see. And because of my uh, oversight, my blue eyes white dragon is now destroyed. But lucky for me, it did not matter. All right, 68. We're almost to a very nice record. All right, so yeah, I feel like there are several packs that I'm missing. Um, <laughs> I guess that's true. Um, what was in, oh yeah, I think Manny or Bugs in here. Rogue Doll, that's actually not that terrible if you're kind of just starting out. Um, I remember this was a Pegasus card. Um, I know, that's when I when I was looking at it, I'm just like, wow, I am kind of missing a lot. Um, all right, let's see if we can do a championship. Let's do that. Perfect. Ah, you'll make a book it. All right, Esperoba. This this will be this will be cakewalk. 
Esperoba ain't got nothing. I think one of the big... Um, I'll just leave it. I'll use my Torrential Tribute. There we go. Hooray. That's fine. Um, yeah, they use Blookit in, in school all the time. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> I will try, I will do my best to make that happen. Um, all right, let me see if I can make my way through this here. Uh, where are you? Oh yeah, you are a lesser dragon. Perfect. Oh, yes, I will. I'll do my best to try to get to it. I got these two duels against Espa here. Um, I'll just leave you. I guess I could have just kept you in attack mode. Okay, good. I couldn't have won this turn anyway. I'm not dark hole. Perfect. Don't kill me. Great. That'll work. All right, so, so far our record is a very nice record of 69 and 11. Um, yeah, my side deck pretty much just has, like, the cards that were originally in this deck that I took out. I should probably mess with that a little bit. Um... Okay. Swords of Revealing Light, turn one. I see you, I see you. Um. Sure. Do, 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 do. Ah, sure. Um. Ah, yes, I guess that is true, huh? <laughs> Brody, you are one of a kind, my friend. Let's see here. Let's just... No. I'll just play you. That's fine. Oh. Uh, no, I'll do that one, and then I will direct this back. There we go. So we're still we're still coming up fine. Um. Oh, okay. I have to draw any Pokemon from memory. Let's see. Uh, well, Brody, what is what is your pick? What what Pokemon am I drawing from memory? Let me know. Blue eyes. That's not a Pokemon. But I mean, I guess I can draw it. I'm fine with it. <laughs> All right. Blue eyes from memory. Okay, giant turtle. Okay. So blue eyes from memory kind of has like one of these mouths. All mad. I think it kind of has like a... Like a... Like one of these things. It has kind of like a long neck. Maybe not that long. It's got like, it's got like big dragon wings, right? And then does blue eyes have a tail? I think so.
All right. Here is my blue eyes. Is that horrible? I mean, yeah, it's not good. But <laughs> it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. At least not from memory. Um, let's see. Oh, the blue eyes from Pokemon? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, Reshiram. That's funny. That's funny. Um, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, it's, <laughs> it is close to the Toon Dragon. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stick to Ziggy. Um, Celestro, sorry. Am I finally out of Revealing Light? Yes, I am. I love that. Perfect. And Gemini Elf can destroy this turtle. All right, we're sitting pretty here. Oh yeah, we'll win this turn. Just merciless here. Got a nice beat down going. There we go. All right, so that's gonna take us to 70 victories here in our Yu-Gi-Oh journey. I know I want to get Lajin. The Genie of the Lamp. I always like that card. Oh, Nightmare Steel Cage. This is kind of like a mini Swords of Revealing Light. This works for um, two turns rather than three. This was another card that Strings used against Yugi in that famous Slifer of the Sky Dragon duel in Battle City, which is really cool. All right. We probably have time for about one more tonight. Um, and I think we can try to even up our record against Joey. Um, I mean, Brody, I was really thinking that tonight could be the finale, and we were able to find, like, three ghouls, but we never found that one we haven't done. Um, so we're still, uh, we're still, we're still trying to do it. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the table. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'll go with a penguin soldier to begin. So I really want to beat Joey this time. Joey is starting to starting to make me mad. Oh, this is actually interesting. One thing I won't do. Um, I actually don't want to send this back to his hand because it'll make it go into defense mode. And if I send it back into his hand, it'll get that 2300 attack all over again. Um, I use Giant Rat to destroy it. I know, I know, Brody. I do have it up on the channel now. Thank you for making that. Um... I will take this, because this will let me get one of my soldiers out. There we go. And that kind of baited that out so I can get a seven colored fish. Excuse me. Perfection. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, here I'm getting kind of Joey's bad monsters, which I am cherishing. So, oh, you're welcome, dude. Thank you for making it. All right. I, I really legitimately liked it. All right. This is kind of annoying, but we can kind of sacrifice Dunamis for the Goblin Attack Force there. Because we can easily destroy this turn. Perfecto. Oh, we got two seven-colored fish. That's like 14 colored fish. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. Can I use my trap hole? No, I can't. But I will actually do this. I think that's worth it. To get rid of uh, the Black Skull Dragon. 
And this, this I can trap hole. Hooray, pro plays by me. Okay, unless I have nothing to play now. Okay, I got, I still got a giant rat. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, Brody, we are, we have 70 wins and 11 losses at this point. Yes, indeed. Um, the one annoying thing is that Goblin Attack Force can still destroy my Beast of Gilfer, but it is okay because we can just use our Fisher here to get rid of. Oh, hello, Irina. Hello. I just had a stroke, apparently. Um, thank you for subscribing for three months. Thank you. Hi. Um, we are just finishing up our Yu-Gi-Oh! stream here. We are defeating Joey. Um, which makes me deliriously happy because he has been an issue for us for this entire playthrough. Uh, doo -doo. Ba -doo 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 -doo. Oh, there's Relinquished. I thought I didn't have it. Um, ah, uh, Griggle. I love the name of that one, Griggle. It's so funny. When this card is face up on the field and control shifts to your opponent, you gain 3,000 life points. Um, that's very interesting. Maybe I could use that. Um, oh, Dark Witch. I always like that artwork. It's not a good card, but... Um, wonderful. What do we got here? Ah, Target Week. Ah, Target Week. Classic Target Week. Kaiba and Bakura. Ryo Bakura. Um, alrighty. All right, folks, I really appreciate you stopping in tonight. I'm going to fight Bakura next time um, because I got to get going. I have some stuff to do, and I have work tomorrow. But thank you for stopping in, uh, Kuma. Oh, my gosh, this has been delightful. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm, I was really happy to have you tonight. Um, you taught me some stuff about this game I didn't know. Yeah, see ya. Um... And next time, we'll see if it's going to be the finale. But I might just stop trying to force it. I might just enjoy the vibes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel and just let the chips fall where they may, you know? Um, <laughs> I know. Hopefully it won't take 70 episodes. But I think this is only episode 12, so if we can do it in, I don't know, 15, that'd be nice. That's a pretty solid little playthrough. Um, but thank you, Heart at the Cards, you know. That's right. That's right, Arena. I, you haven't been here long, but that has been a great, a great contribution. Um, I mean, you could have been watching this whole time. I guess I just mean the chat. Sorry. But I appreciate you. <laughs> um, anyway, I... 15,000, I mean. I know. But, uh, great. Yeah, uh, this week I should be back. Oh, you just got home from work. Welcome home. Welcome home. I hope you can chill. Um, I should be back with more Emerald on Wednesday. We are into, we are into the Battle Frontier now, which makes me so excited. Um, and, uh, we will be back with Yu-Gi-Oh! at another time. And I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace out, kiddos.